folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual and by now I am definitely sounding like a broken record. So thank you very much for coming over again this week just to see what I picked up for the family food shopping and I hope that I find you very well indeed and you're managing to get everything you need for you and your family because I know that times are tough at the moment and lots of us are feeling it. But as you can see we've gone to Aldi and Tesco again this week. We've just gone to Tesco for the bits and bobs that Aldi didn't have or, you know, we couldn't get. And Aldi spent just over £80, which is about normal for us, you know, if we're going to more than one place. So in Tesco, we were £39.23. And then in Aldi, we were £41.31. I had a few vouchers in Tesco as well. So the first thing I picked up were these eggs. I got these ones from Tesco. Aldi didn't have any eggs at all, which I found, you know, amazing. A couple of blocks of butter from Tesco because Tesco are actually cheaper for their butter at the moment. It's one ninety nine. Aldi, I think it was £2.25. A big block of mature cheddar cheese. I do, you know, I am enjoying grating my own at the moment, which makes it a wee bit cheaper. I got a wee block of Parmesan cheese. Again, Aldi didn't have any Parmesan cheese. Six mini sticks of cheddar cheese. These are great for on the go. This is the kind of thing that I take for snacking on. Either that or some, you know, some nuts. A couple of these wee yogurts. I've got loads of yogurts still there. A wee pot of double cream and then salad bits. Again, Aldi had no lettuce. So I got some iceberg lettuce and then a bag of baby leaf salad as well. And then some of these wee piccolo tomatoes because Aldi didn't have any of the bigger tomatoes. And then some bananas and I also got a swede. A pack of chestnut mushrooms and then some cooked beetroot. This isn't the one in the vinegar. This is just the natural one. Some salad tomatoes from Tesco because, like I said, Aldi had none of the bigger tomatoes. Some ready-made custard just to go with some cake. And then a jar of mayonnaise as well. This mayo is lovely, you know, and it's quite cheap, you know, as far as mayonnaise goes. A big bag of tatties and I fancied some potato scones. These are lovely in a roll with some bacon or sausage or something like that. Some garlic bread slices and also a flat bread. This is the cheese and garlic one. I've never seen these before and I thought these would be lovely with some kebab meat and salad inside, you know, and they are quite big. So I imagine when you stuff these and roll them up, they are going to be lovely. I got some crushed garlic, also some Caesar dressing for a Caesar salad that I'm going to be doing. Some croutons again for the Caesar salad and then some chili pesto. A couple of jars of cayenne pepper. And then a wee jar of garlic granules because I go through that quite quickly. Some yeast and also some bread flour. I'm going to have a go at making French bread or baguette style. You know, the, you know, the, the bread stick things. I'm going to have a go at making those. A wee individual chicken pie for Mr. Watts for tea one of the nights. This sticky toffee pudding I thought looked lovely. You just pop it into the microwave and it's done in about two minutes. So that's going to be lovely. A couple of boxes of potato gratin and these chicken breast fillets I think we'll probably have for the chicken Caesar salad that I'm going to be doing. Some cod for some fish and chips and then a six pack of salted crisps as well and I thought these ones look quite nice and they're quite good value. Our usual bag of frozen jacket potatoes, we go through quite a lot of those. We tend to use those for lunches you know, or the side of a dinner. Some skin on fries and then a bag of frozen sweet corn as well. This is great just to have in the freezer if you don't have any of the cans. Some wee skinny dream bars and then Jasper's cat litter. I think they've stopped doing the bigger bags of that. I haven't seen the bigger bags for ages. And then some loo rolls as well. And that's everything that I got between Aldi and Tesco. We don't need to go anywhere else this week. We do have everything else that we need there. So thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point. And a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And for you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. And like I said in the beginning, you know, I do sound like a broken record when I do these types 
exclusive videos so I do really appreciate you coming over and having a wee look and watching the videos because I do appreciate we buy a lot of the same things every week and it might get a wee bit monotonous but I love to share these videos and so many of you like to watch them as well so as long as you're watching them I will continue to put them out for you to see what we're buying every week. So you take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you tomorrow for Meals of the Week. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.